Hello again, my name is Maya Panfilo. I am a 3D artist working in games, films and collectibles. And I'm continuing with a series of tutorials for NVIDIA YouTube channel. So we imported our model and also imported normal map from ZBrush for the stack. And uh, we need to bake all other maps. I should mention that this uh, character is not game character but a cinematic character and I should explain the difference. We have two types uh, of characters that we can do. Uh, one type is for game engine, uh, for example Unreal Engine, Unity, Marmoset Toolback and um, the second type is for pre-rendered uh, characters uh, for cinematics uh, and we can render it in Fury, Redshift, uh, Arnold and other renders. And the pipeline uh, will be different uh, both in uh, wireframe and in textures and maps uh, baking. Uh, for game character, we uh, our main map is a normal map and I usually bake it in substance. Some people bake it in uh, X normal or marmoset. And uh, also we use some of baked maps for render. We use ambient occlusion map and we use uh, normal map as well for render. Uh, when we do cinematic character, we also bake normal map, but we don't use it for render. We, we only use it for making generators, uh, for making some effects in substance uh, and generate other maps from it. And the main map that we do is displacement map instead of normal map. So displacement map is the one that we actually use for the render. The other maps uh, in, for the render we don't use. What it means that the, the main difference is that in one case I bake normal map in substance and on the other case I bake normal map in ZBrush because it's just easier to do and faster. And for all other maps I'm not uh, worried too much about the quality of it because the maps won't be used in the render, we just, uh, it's just a secondary map for some effects, so the quality need for, for this is not s uh, such uh, important for us. Let's take a look at the settings that I need to change to bake the maps. Uh, first one is output size, by default it's uh, 5012. Uh, what size should I have? It depends on what the size of texture will be. In ideal situation, if you set uh, the size of the head, for example, as 4K, you want uh, the same size to the map size. Um, but the problem is, if, if you bake everything as 4K, uh, the, the, we have a lot of maps and we have a lot of UDIMs. And the size of the scene will be enormously big. Mm, because of that we need to optimize. Mm. I did an experiment and uh, baked curvature maps a map on 4K and 8K and just wanted to compare the difference. So on the right it's 8K map, on the left it's 4K. And um, I want to see if there if they're worth making uh, 8K or 4K is enough. Uh, so if I zoom in close to the nose, uh, I can see the difference that it's really visible that 8K is uh, more detailed, more clear. Uh, there's less noise that we see. Uh, but in my opinion, the difference is not that huge. So. I can go with 4K and I think it will be enough. Uh, for curvature, uh, world space normal and ambient occlusion, uh, I would I would set 4K, but for position and thickness, I would set 2K to optimize it even better because position and thickness map are even more sec secondary and they're not having too much details and 2K will be enough. Uh, but uh, we can always rebake it. Let's uh, just start with 4 and 
uh, check what uh, maps do we need. We don't need normal because we already have it. We need uh, all other maps and we don't need ID because we're not working with ID maps. Uh, what else do I need to change? I skip this place as I mentioned before. Uh, usually you put high poly here and you use high poly to bake normal maps. All other maps don't actually need high poly. Uh, they're being uh, they're baked uh, using uh, our mesh and also normal map. So it's all you need to have uh, for bake other maps. In the ambient occlusion, I uh, go to self occlusion and hit only same mesh name. Uh, in some cases, uh, you can hit all this, and uh, if you do that, uh, then between, uh, for example, between your dress and body will be a shadow, so different objects will cast uh, shadows to each other. But I don't want this effect, so I just uh, hit only same mesh name. Uh, I hit apply to all, so my changes uh, that I made for only one map will apply to all other maps. So don't forget to uh, push this button if you want to apply it for each UDIM. Uh, for curvature, by default, uh, the level of details is 05. And I want to show you uh, the difference. Uh, I usually decrease it uh, either to 02 or 01. So let's see how it looks. So this is 02 map and this is uh, 05. And you see that 02 map is having less contrast. And if we zoom in, uh, we can see that it's easier for us to notice more details within 02 maps and uh, the contrast of 05 map is uh, too harsh and everything is hugely overrated so the decrease value works uh, better to me because I just see more details so again I hit apply to all and I guess it's all settings that we need to do uh, and also anti-aliasing uh, by default it's not it's, it's none uh, and sometimes I keep it this way because the more you set the better quality of the map will be but again uh, you probably not uh, all the time need the best quality because it's just a secondary map for generators you're not going to use it in render uh, if you do the map for a game, of course, you will need uh, to set the best quality as you can. Mm. But uh, nowadays I have new graphic cards provided by NVIDIA and uh, uh, it's a 2 Titan RTX. And uh, as you know, uh, in Substance, they recently started to support RTX for baking maps. And the speed of baking uh, the maps uh, has hugely increased. And now it's uh, I not bother too much to set uh, better sampling and uh, the speed of baking will still be very good. And uh, we, we can actually test how fast all uh, how fast this one will bake and we will multiply it to the number of UDM and this will be the time of the baking so let's give it a try So it took uh, me around uh, 40 seconds to bake one UDIM and we actually need to bake all others so uh, to, to, do, to do them all I just uh, hit bake all texture sets and it automatically will bake everything for us. Now all UDIMs have its own bakes and we can check the bikes by hitting B keyboard 
and switch between and uh, at the top corner top right corner uh, you see the name of the map and can check how everything works the size now is 4k that we see um, but for some objects i don't need maps for this hair uh, i will delete them because i won't be using them same way for the eyes i don't need these maps delete them as well for temporary hair same thing don't need those just uh, making the just optimizing the scene a little when i delete some textures uh, it stays on the scene and if i want to delete it completely i go to file clean and by doing that i delete all unused textures and other elements from the file and now i can save it And I'm curious to find out what size of the scene I have now. And right now it's 5.7 gigabytes, uh, which is really, really big size. Uh, we didn't even start texturing, but as a fact, uh, the scene of the size increase really much because of the maps. So I want to optimize it more. And as I mentioned, I'm going to bake position and thickness as 2K. So I just repeat process and bake all position and thickness map to twice lower size. I repeat clean just in case and save it control S. And let's check how the size change it so it it used to be 5.7 gigabytes now it's 3.7 which is much much better and uh, i'm happier about the size now uh, as you can uh, see in my finished texturing uh, scene uh, the file is uh, 508 which is more or less okay it's not perfect but enough comfortable and at the beginning after baking mass is 3.7 uh, which is also fine so the baking is done which can what we can do also we can check uh, how the seam how the seams between udims looks like if there are any problems in between udims but it seems everything is fine and i'm i'm happy about the result and we can continue with texturing and i'm really happy about the improvement of baking speed it's going much smoother now and i can by default uh, have uh, better quality without uh, worrying about the speed so really happy to have vertex uh, thank you in video very much for uh, providing this because now uh, realizing that having 24 gigs in each card and using it together for texturing is uh, just uh, a huge improvement for texturing speed before i couldn't paint in 4k often and now i can and the texturing itself uh, became a much more pleasant experience.